We are on photography show, Andrew Boy. Hey, before we start our tutorial, I got something exciting to share with you. Have you seen our new website? It's beyondphotography.com.my. And what is so different about this new website? It's fully responsive. That means you can watch it with your desktop. You can view it with your smart tablet and smartphone. And the interesting thing about it, we have loaded it with a lot of e-learning titles. So those of you who have always come to this channel and say we love your classes but we cannot fly to Kuala Lumpur to take your classes, you can now subscribe to the e-learning titles that we have here. So go right ahead, get yourself a free account and there are a lot of titles in e-learning which is free. Subscribe today. So what is today's tutorial? Well. You might have seen those commercial photo shoots where the backgrounds are perfectly white. Kind of like what Apple computer does with Jonathan Ive. We're going to learn how to make those perfect white portrait background in today's tutorial. Action! Well, to do this, you need to have a white wall. Well, you don't need it exactly white. And also, choose studio lights. But I know what you're thinking. You're thinking that what if I do not have studio lights? So we're going to do this in two parts. If you have model blocks like this, you need two of them. Otherwise, you can use your hot shoe flash. So let's do the studio lights option first. So I've got a model block here, and you need two. Got an octa at the front, the other one I've got a large softbox. Just switch it on, make sure that you're on optical slave and turn the power to midway and slightly higher. Don't have to worry about the power so much now because the actual trick is not here. Well, it's a perfect white background portrait shoot and to model for a portrait shoot, we have the beautiful Demi. Now, let's go through the settings that you need on your camera. I'm going to start with my favorite F11 when I'm doing studio shoots. And my shutter speed, I'm going to put it at 1 over 1, 2, 5 over a second. And I always start my ISO with 200. Now, white balance, 5000. Just right smack in the middle of white. But I've got bad news for you, Demi. You got to leave now. Yes, this is the trick here. Get your model to step aside first. You need to measure the white wall. This is the trick of the trade now. Take your camera and take a shot of the white wall. You want to find out how white white is. But before we even do that, introducing lessons on histogram. This is your histogram. Whatever that's white, Whatever that's bright will fall on the right. So remember this poem, whatever that's bright, whatever that's white will fall on the right. This is mid-tone. So this is shadow. Now the aim is to get the wall somewhere in this region, which we call the hexa F. Because if you go to Photoshop and you take a droplet and take out the color from the wall, it's going to show six F's like this. Now that you know how the histogram works, let's take a shot of the white wall. It looks white, but don't be fooled. Check the histogram now. As you can see, it's not completely white. There are still edges and tails here. So how can you make the wall whiter now? Simple. Increase your ISO. Why do I choose to increase my ISO? Because I've decided to, to shoot at f11. And shutter speed won't help because shutter speed affects my shadow and my ambient. So this is ISO 200. Going with ISO 400 now. If you cannot focus on the white wall, who cares? Flip it to manual focus. We know that exposure has nothing to do with your focusing. Looks white, but take a look now. Look at the histogram. The histogram has just confirmed that this is perfectly white. 
You may still get a dot or two here. Don't worry about it. Now you must be wondering why I have a flash on top of my camera. This flash is set to the lowest power that you have is purely to trigger my studio light. With this technique, you do not need any main light. So it's just Demi sitting at the front. Well, now that we have gotten the walls white, we have Demi in front now. ISO is 400 at f11 at the shutter speed of 10125. Let's take a shot. As you can see, this is still the white wall. This is the peak. And this peak here, this is Demi. She's underexposed. She's falling on almost the shadow region now. And this one, this is where her hairs are and the shadowy skin tone of hers. So she's still underexposed. So how do we make her on mid-tone here? Here's the trick. The trick is not to add light on Demi, but instead, at ISO. So the ISO was 400. I'm going to change this to 800 now and change a nicer pose. Hit down a little bit. That's good. And there you have it. Demi is now in mid-tone. What if you don't have those big 600 watt per second studio lights like the one I just used? You can always use your hot shoe flash. You just need two of them. Set it to about full power. You can even try half power on optical trigger. Let's try that. So same technique, choose the F number that you want. In my case, I'm using F11. Bring down the ISO to 200 again. And again, the shutter speed, 1 over 1, 2, 5. Doesn't make a difference. Shutter speed is for background. That's famous 5, number 3. And set up two lights on optical trigger. Full power, full power. That's your hot shoe flash. And take a shot of your wall and see how white this is. White, but check your histogram. Completely white. Let's add Demi now. Head down a bit and re-smile. Good. Okay, change. Head down a little bit and that's the good one. Good and change. Yeah, that's good. Good. You got it. So I hope you have enjoyed our YouTube channel and if you have, I'm sure that you will really be impressed with our website. It's beyondphotography.com.my and we call this website Pixel. Take a look at this. Thank you.